A good friend of mine bought a small van for his food business and installed a refrigeration system in it. The system worked very well, and naturally, when adding another vehicle to his business, he bought a system from the same supplier, although the latter equipment came with some updates. The new system failed frequently, and no local or foreign technician was able to repair it. My friend discovered that when the system was supposed to boot up and failed, it was enough to press the reset button for one second on the temperature control. Then, when the system refused to stop, he had had to press the same button for three seconds. With that, the system worked quite well. My friend asked me to do something to automate this reset, because due to forgetfulness or distraction, the vehicle might be left without cooling for a few minutes. It was like asking me to install a robot arm that would come out from under the dashboard and automatically push the button. Since I love simple circuits with relays, I proceeded to connect three relays so they would reliably perform the task. First of all, I connected a couple of wires to the reset button so we wouldn't have to press it directly, but rather control it remotely from our improvised electromechanical brain. Then we bought a simple, inexpensive thermostat that would activate the reset when the right temperature was reached. Since this cheap thermostat, which we will call auxiliary, only had a normally open contact output, a relay had to be added to make a normally closed contact available. The relays we used are identical, coil type operated with 12 volts, direct current. Adjusting the auxiliary thermostat to match the temperatures of the original thermostat would provide us with two sequential signal lines which would operate the other pair of relays, one at a time, one relay to deliver a one-second continuity pulse to the reset button, and one relay to deliver a three-second continuity pulse to the reset button. To set one of the relays to produce a short pulse and the other to produce a long pulse, I used an electrolytic capacitor in series with the input of each coil. The long pulse relay has a 10,000 microfarad capacitor in series, which takes 3 seconds to fully charge and act as an open circuit for the coil, so the relay is only energized for 3 seconds and then released. In series with the coil input of the other relay is a 1,000 microfarad capacitor, which takes only 1 second to fully charge and then act as an open circuit for the coil, whereupon the relay is only energized for 1 second and then released. The 1000 ohm resistors in parallel with the capacitors are there to discharge the capacitors, so they are ready for the next cycle. The normally open contacts of these two relays are paralleled so that the continuity pulses appear on the same pair of wires, which in turn are connected in parallel to the reset button. Thus, when the temperature rises in the refrigerated space, the auxiliary thermostat presses the reset button for one second by making a jumper between its two terminals, whereupon the original controller kicks on and the cooling cycle begins. When the temperature drops in the refrigerated space, the auxiliary thermostat presses the reset button for three seconds, thereby resetting the original controller and stopping the cooling compressor. With this action, constant operation is ensured, while retaining other features the original controller has, such as fan sequencing, and other functions. The operation for several months in the work field will tell us if the system was 100% effective or not. I hope this video is helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel. Shava Tareen